In this video, I will present what is Poisson's ratio. We know that when a deformable body is stretched by tensile forces, it not only elongates but it contracts laterally. Means if we are applying force in x axis, then the body will elongate in x axis as it is shown, but it will contract in other axis. Likewise, a compressive force acting on a deformable body will cause its contract in the force direction and it will expand laterally. The image shows that if we apply force in an axis, then in the perpendicular axis, the body will contract or expand depending upon the application of force. The formulation for Poisson's ratio is shown that change in length lateral over change in length longitudinal or we can say that lateral strain divided by axial strain. The illustration shows the application of Poisson's ratio by use of two hands on a rubber band. This illustration shows more prominent application of Poisson's ratio. The original shape was cylindrical. When we apply tensional force, that is an axial force which is trying to ten, uh, expand the body in an axis, in the longitudinal axis, but the body is contracting in its lateral axis. We can say that it is suffering a contraction in lateral axis. More on Poisson's ratio. The following definition has been referred from the book Structural Concrete by Nadim Hassoun. Poisson's ratio is basically the transfer ratio of transfers to longitudinal strains under axial stress within elastic range. The ratio varies between 0.15 and 0.2 for both normal and lightweight concrete. Poisson's ratio is used in structural analysis in slabs, tunnels, tanks, dams, and other indeterminate structures. For isotropic elastic material, isotropic material means that the uh, properties of the material are same in all dimensions. Poisson's ratio is equal to 0.25 for isotropic elastic material and average value of 0.18 can be used for concrete. Thank you for watching.